Hey guys, it's Nick, and in this video, I want to talk about what's going on with natural gas prices and electricity prices in the Texas area because of this winter freeze. Uh, prices are up as much as like 32,000% or something crazy like that. Electricity prices are up from like 12 cents a kilowatt hour to like $9 a kilowatt hour. So I'm going to try to explain what's going on, why this is happening now. Who's going to get hurt by this? Uh, is there somebody that's going to benefit from this? And is this problem going to increase the price of natural gas futures and, and crude oil futures because of this, that people are going to see this news and go jump into buy these futures and oil stocks and that kind of thing? And if they do, uh, should you be buying here or should you be maybe offloading a little bit of whatever oil related longs you have? So what's going on in Texas with natural gas and electricity rates? Uh, this zero hedge <laughs> title kind of sums it up because it's kind of complicated, but this energy trader said we've officially hit holy SH, you know what, levels. So what's going on around Texas with electricity rates and all of that? It's pretty complicated, but uh, the way I understand it is Texas has its own grid and there's three grids in the United States, the West grid, the East grid, and the Texas grid. And because of that, they are kind of dependent on local gas and local electricity generation more so than other parts of the country. So they kind of have a, a perfect storm or so they say of this cold weather that's stopping production of some natural gas as well as stopping actual wind turbines uh, that supposedly it's so cold that either the wind turbines cannot turn or there's no wind uh, to generate any electricity so a combination of those two things is uh, having a big scarcity of supply for natural gas and electricity production and so it's causing the wholesale electricity prices to spike up crazy, as well as the natural gas prices, the spot prices in that area to go sky high. And so you might be looking at that news and saying, well, how come uh, the natural gas futures in New York on the NYMEX are not trading sky high? They're only like $3 uh, because it's where you uh, pick up the gas. There's plenty of gas up there in the Northeast, but not down there in Texas where they're having these problems. And so because of that, that spot market is going crazy. So here you see a chart of the spot price for natural gas in a terminal in Oklahoma, and it's up like 32,000% just in the last few days. Uh, so it's, <laughs> um, it's like 10 times GameStop basically. And here's the wholesale power prices at Texas North Hub. And you see this is also through the roof at 39.45. I guess that's per megawatt hour. So this is a look at the mid-continent gas demand versus supply. And so here is the supply going down and demand is going through the roof in just the last you know week or so. And here's a look at the mid-continent gas transmission. Normally, they're exporting gas out of the region, and that's why it's negative here, and now it's gone to zero. So no exporting, they're keeping everything they can. As the temperature falls, uh, they're trying to keep as much gas as they can because I guess they're not getting gas from other places and the windmills are not producing. So uh, they have a big squeeze going on here. Now, some people may be saying, okay, so what does that mean? Who's making money? Who's going to get hurt? Well, um, right off the bat, the people that are on Gritty paying $9 a kilowatt hour uh, today are, <laughs> are going to have a big problem either getting electricity or paying their electricity bill because they agreed to pay these wholesale rates supposedly by signing up for Gritty. But this whole thing and the market as a whole reminds me a lot of during the internet bubble. I don't know if people remember, but in 2001, in 2001, California was having blackouts because their electricity rates went through the roof and it bankrupted the utilities over there, Pacific uh, Gas and Electric. And um, it, it wasn't really because they really 
ran out of electricity, it was because companies like Enron were gaming the system and the grid by doing things like um, controlling power plants and putting them offline saying they're in maintenance mode just so that they could jack up the price of electricity um, by making it scarce and doing things like um, taking up all the capacity on an electric line and so that they can jack up the price for that usage as well. So those kinds of things that they were doing um, skyrocketed the price of electricity in California to the point where they had rolling blackouts in June 2000. So all these articles show that Enron <laughs> had a secret role in these blackouts that came out later on. And of course, Enron went bankrupt from all the fraud uh, and they got sued by California, but they only paid back a very little bit of the money because they had no money left. So um, it, is this what's going on here? Is there somebody taking advantage of this kind of um, you know, perfect storm going on here to really jack up the price. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. Usually when things like this happen, the ultimate people who pay are the rate payers, either through higher taxes or whatever, if the government has to bail them out or through higher electricity rates that they're going to pay through the nose. And in this case, this company Gritty, which allows you to buy wholesale electricity, which sounds like a good idea most of the time, right? Texas' favorite wholesale electricity provider. Pay as you go billing, get wholesale prices. You just pay $9.99 a month. You'll pay exactly the price we buy electricity at. That's great for 99.9% .9 of the time. But uh, yeah, you're paying 8.5 cents per kilowatt hour on Gritty. Isn't that great? Except... What's this? Stormwatch. So that eight and a half cents per kilowatt hour has now gone up for people on Thursday, February 11th, from that nine cents or eight cents up to 30 cents and then down to 10 cents and then back up to 27 cents and down to 10 cents. That's February 11th. Let's uh, scroll up a bit. Okay, now February 12th, now they're paying $2 a kilowatt hour, back down to a dollar, back down to 80 cents. Uh, that's, you know, 16 times more than uh, their eight and a half cents kind of uh, price there, or, or more than that. February 13th, start off at $2 a kilowatt hour, or what is that, 24 times more than the eight and a half cents, up to $7 down to $3, back up to $7. Uh, people who have signed up for this are now paying, you know, upwards of seven, $8 a kilowatt hour. Uh, that's a hundred times more than their advertised rate. So you better believe that there's gonna be um, a lot of people yelling at their government to, uh, you know, come in and take care of this because their credit cards or their debit cards are going to be get, getting hit with bills that are 10 times or, or higher than their normal bill because of this. So somebody is going to be losing money on this. Either the utilities that uh, are charging the higher rates, they're going to have to give some back or the grid operators or somebody. Um, and it's it's not going to end well. Now, you may be watching this and thinking, well, I don't live in Texas and I'm not on Gritty, so I, I don't really, you know, it doesn't really affect me. Can I make some money on this with crude oil futures or natural gas futures? Well, let's take a look. Crude oil futures right now at uh, about a quarter to three in the morning on Sunday night are up 2% and natural gas futures are up 4%. So they closed at like 290, now they're up $3. So how come they're not up like crazy? Uh, because this is the NYMEX, which is natural gas delivered in New York area. And so those spot prices are for the localized areas like Oklahoma and Texas. So um, they haven't seen that spike yet, but can the news of what's going on in Texas give a bid to natural gas futures? Definitely. I mean, you're seeing that already. It's up 4%. I mean, it's it's not huge, but it's something. Uh, and 
natural gas futures are known as the widow maker. So they do nothing for a long time and then they go up like crazy and bankrupt a lot of people that were short natural gas futures. So do not try to short this because who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but if you don't have any oil or natural gas stocks or anything like that, you may consider uh, you know, trying to get long this thing for a ride and see how long this kind of pop lasts. Or if you're already long some oil stocks or anything like that, if there's a significant jump from this kind of news and people, uh, a lot of people pile in, you might want to consider taking a little chips off the table or taking some profit um, because this is going to be a temporary thing. Once the cold goes away, these prices are going to come back down. So um, I wouldn't say this is a, a long term thing. What's going on right now in Texas with the cold and the electricity and the natural gas spot prices. So guys, that's what's going on with the natural gas and electricity in Texas. It's a, it's a crazy thing. And, um, you know, I don't know why this is happening now. They've had cold before. So why now? Is there somebody behind this? Is there somebody taking advantage of this to spike up the prices when they have just, you know, uh, windmills are down or something like that? Um, who knows? The truth will probably come out later on if somebody was kind of turning the screws on this on a bad situation to make it worse so that they can profit a lot. I don't know, but I wouldn't go uh, looking at this news and then go piling into natural gas futures or something like that just in the hopes that it, it catches a big bid because of this. It might pop a little bit, but um, I don't think it's going to go crazy. But definitely don't try to go and short natural gas futures or anything because you think uh, the worst is over and it's going to come back down because that thing could spike up like crazy. Uh, I remember when it spiked to like $15 10 years ago from like two, three dollars. And a lot of people um, really uh, went bankrupt from that. So um, that they don't call it the widow maker for nothing. But guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you are a customer of Gritty and and uh, are watching what's going on and have some feedback of the prices that are spiking if they're charging you more money yet or anything or if you've seen a new bill yet from Texas or anything like that, uh, leave a post in the comments below. I'd be interested to see what's going on from an actual gritty customer. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.